One woman's story of beating cancer all started with a small growth underneath a crooked fingernail. From there, doctors diagnosed Lisa Rucker with melanoma and told her she only had months to live. Flash forward 10 years later as Lisa is named Sparrow's Cancer Survivor of the Year. You're thinking about all the things that you're going to miss out on. Um, you're going to miss your children growing up. You're not going to see your grandkids. Some people would have gotten their affairs in order and said their goodbyes. Lisa Rucker fought. After several surgeries at Sparrow Hospital, her cancer went into remission where it remains today. She quickly decided she needed to do something. I want people to live. And to help them live, she started volunteering at Sparrow. Her goal wasn't just to give back. Lisa also wanted to show other cancer patients and their families how to fight. To get through the pain, to get through the financial crisis. She made an impression on the Sparrow community, especially the committee in charge of picking the cancer survivor of the year. Her name really quickly rose to the surface. Radiation Oncology and Outreach Manager Teresa Puder says the qualities they look for are easy to see in Lisa. We look for cancer survivors that give, that have gone through their cancer struggle and journey of, and, and give um, of themselves. And when the time came to announce the winner, Lisa was more than just honored. It was shocking, um, to say the least. I just thought I had front row seats to, you know, because I got here early, and um, I really was shocked when they called my name. Lisa Rucker is the 23rd Sparrow Cancer Survivor of the Year and the first since the new Herbert Herman Cancer Center opened last month.